Today I'll be showing you guys how to do this cutout transition inside the Venture Resolve. I've been seeing this transition a lot on Instagram as of lately, so I figured I'd show you guys how to do this trendy transition. Before we get into the video, if you guys new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I will be dropping the Venture Resolve tutorials every single week, so you don't want to miss out. Go ahead, guys, hit that like button. It's free support. All it does is show YouTube that you're enjoying the content that we're dropping. And with that being said, let's hop straight into the Venture Resolve. These are the two clips we'll be working with today, guys. So we're going to be transitioning from this clip to this clip right here. So the first thing what we want to do is we want to bring the clip that we will be transitioning into and drag it on top of the bottom clip. So if I go ahead and disable that, this is the clip we'll be starting with and I enable it. This is the clip we'll be transitioning into. As you guys can see, I left a little space right there because in that space, we're going to add a fusion composition. So we're going to go up to our effects tab. We're going to go ahead and drag this fusion composition in between those two clips. Make sure it's the same length. We're going to press on our fusion composition. We're going to right click, open the fusion page. We're gonna go ahead and grab this background node. Then we're gonna connect this background node to our Mita Out one. It's gonna go black. We're gonna press on the background. We're gonna go to color. Let's change it to white, press OK. Then we're gonna grab this polygon node. We're gonna hold shift. And we're gonna disconnect that from the background for now. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make the shape of the transition. I'm gonna go ahead and add a point and I'm gonna hold shift guys because that adds a straight line just like that. We'll shift again. Then we're gonna go ahead and connect it. Now after we got your shape, if you guys hold on to the points that we made, we could adjust it so go ahead and make it a shape that you guys want it i think this shape right here is pretty good and if we guys press on this dotted circle right here we could rotate it so i'm gonna rotate it just like that pretty good and then after you guys have your shape we're gonna go ahead and connect that polygon to the background and we're gonna go back to our edit tab and now in the fusion composition want to go to composite mode want to go ahead scroll down change it to alpha and then on the clip that we'll be transitioning into want to change that to foreground so that's good. And now guys, for you to really sell this effect, you wanna make sure that you put it to the base of the beat. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna enable this track. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can see the bass. So right here we have a bass, right here and right here. So that's where the cutout is gonna be popping up. So since this is our first bass right here, we wanna move that fusion composition to that first bass. We're gonna bring this clip that we're transitioning into up. So drag it up. And then we're gonna go to our second bass right there. We're gonna go ahead and make a copy of this. So we're gonna press Alt and drag it up. And then we're gonna trim that to that second base, just like that. Now we're gonna go to the Transform tab and we're gonna move just the X position to the side a little bit. Now we're gonna go to our third base. Once again, drag this clip up, go back to the Fusion Composition, Alt, drag up, trim it to that third base, Transform, just like that. We're gonna do it one more time, so right there. We drag it up, press Alt to copy, bring it up. Let's go to that fourth base, bring that fourth one to the side. Go to the position X on transform, just like that. So now when we play it back, we have something like this. Now for us to really sell the transition on that last base hit, we're gonna select all of our fusion compositions. We're gonna cut them and then we're gonna disable all of them. So now when we play it back, we have something like this. super clean. If you guys want to add another shape, it's super easy to do. So you can really get creative with this transition. Let me show you what I mean by that. We're going to disable that first fusion composition. We're going to right click, open in fusion page. We're going to press shift, remove that polygon from the background. Go ahead and delete it because we don't need it no more. Let's go ahead and grab this ellipse tool and let's connect that to the background. As you guys can see, we already have the circle. Let's bring that over a bit. One transition that you could do with the circle is we're gonna make it small. So let's mess with the zoom, bring it down. On the next base hit right here, we're gonna cut it, zoom it up a little bit. Next hit right here, cut it again, make it a little bigger. This last base hit right here, you guys already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill the screen. Now when we play it back, we have something like this super clean and that's the end of this quick tutorial guys if you haven't done it already hit the subscribe button down below like i said before we're dropping tutorials every single week you don't want to miss out if you enjoyed this video guys if you want to support me and the channel for free just give me a like all it does is tell youtube that you enjoy this type of content and it pushes out to other people like you and i with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial peace